Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into the latest update from Debian project. They've just released Debian 11.10 which is an update for Debian 11, also known as Bullseye. This is not a brand new version but an important update that fixes some bugs and improves security. So let's break it down. Debian 11.10 is the 10th update to Debian 11 Bullseye. This update primarily focuses on fixing security issues and resolving some serious bugs in the system. The Debian team has been working hard to ensure that our systems remain secure and stable, so this update is quite essential for all Debian 11 users. If you are using Debian 11, you don't need to download the whole new version of the operating system. Instead, you just update your existing system to get all the new fixes and improvements. This is great because it means you won't have to reinstall everything from scratch. Your system will be more secure and stable without a lot of hassle. It's important to note that most of these updates are under the hood, so there is not much that you can see at the first glance. Now, let's talk about some of the specific fixes and updates included in Debian 11.10. Fix the buffer overflow issue. This makes the system safer by preventing certain types of attacks. Handled multiple boundary parameters that could have conflicting values. This helps to prevent potential security issues. Fix the memory leak issue that happened when HTTP2 server push was aborted. This fix helps to keep your system running smoothly without unnecessary memory usage. Multiple security fixes to protect against unsafe remote resources. This update ensures that Emacs is secure against remote threats. Fixed issues related to certified chain verification and timing site channel attacks. This makes sure your encrypted connections remain secure. Fix several heap buffer overflow vulnerabilities. This ensures better memory handling and security. Numerous fixes for Intel processors addressing multiple security vulnerabilities. This keeps your Intel hardware secure and running efficiently. Fixed issues leading to stack overflow and denial of service vulnerabilities. This makes applications using JSON Smart more stable and secure. Fixed input validation issues leading to potential denial of service attacks. This improves the security of web applications. Fixed a malicious sim leak issue. This makes the text editor safer to use. This updates include support for new kernel version and rebuilds, making sure the system remains up to date and functional. Several packages have been rebuilt to address outdated dependencies, ensuring they work with the latest system libraries and tools. Some packages like PostgreSQL 13 and Rust Web have received new upstream stable releases. This brings in the latest features and fixes from the developers of these software packages. Updating to Debian 11.10 is straightforward. If you've been regularly installing updates from security.debian.org, you probably won't have much to update. For those who haven't, it's as simple as running a few commands in the terminal. Here's what you need to do. Open your terminal. Run the command sudo apt update to refresh your package list. Then sudo apt upgrade to install the latest updates. That's it. Your system will now have all the latest security fixes and improvements from Debian 11.10. For those who are planning to install Debian 11 fresh, new installation images for Debian 11.10 are available. These images include all the latest updates and fixes, so you won't have to go through the update process after installation. Just head over to the official Debian website to download the new images. All around, Debian 11.10 is a crucial update for anyone using Debian 11 Bullseye. It addresses important security issues and fixes several bugs, ensuring that your system remains secure and stable. Whether you're a regular user or a system administrator, keeping your system updated is essential for maintaining security and performance. Remember, updating your system is easy and brings you the latest improvements from the Debian team. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Linux. 
feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience with Debian Linux. See you on the next one.